So gas chromatography, mass spectrometry, GCMS for short, is a technique that uses gas chromatography to separate a tablet into its components and then mass spectrometry to produce effectively what's a fingerprint of each of those components. So when the analysis is complete, we'll know exactly how many different components there are in the tablet and what each of them are. So we've got a green tablet and we need to extract the drug from it and put it on the mass spectrometer so it can identify it for us. So we're going to take a small amount of the tablet We've got a whole tablet and a, and a fragment of one, so I'm going to take half of this fragment and I'm going to put it in a, a polypropylene tube, plastic tube, and then we're going to extract the drug from it using a solvent called methanol. So we've added one milliliter of methanol to the tablet and now we need to let that uh, extract. So we're going to put it on a, on a machine which shakes it. And we'll let that run for a few minutes and that will extract all the drug from the tablet into the methanol. So that's now disintegrated the tablet and extracted the uh, drug into the methanol. Now we're going to put it in, in a centrifuge which will um, separate the methanol from the residual powder. So it, it goes in the centrifuge with a counterbalance, close the lid and it will spin for about a minute. So it's spinning at 8,000 revs for a minute. So now we can take our uh, tablet solution out. Uh, and what we have now is a methanol solution of the drug and all the insoluble material left at the bottom of the tube. We're going to take 10 microliters of that using a pipette. and we're going to add it to a GCMS vial. This is the glass bottle that's going to go on the machine. So we take 10 microliters of the solution and add it to that vial, pretty small amount. And then to that we add one milliliter of a solvent which contains internal standards which we're going to put on the mass spectrometer. So what we now have is a solution containing the drug we've extracted from the tablet um, and internal standards which enable us to check that the machine's running correctly. So now we're going to put it on the mass spectrometer. Now what I do need to do some entry on the computer. Okay, now um, the machine is all set up, ready to run the sample. It's going to inject a small amount of that onto the, gas onto the gas chromatograph, which will separate it into its components, and then produce a fingerprint of each of those components. So we'll tell it to run the sequence. It's picking up the vial putting it onto the turntable. It's now rinsing the syringe to make sure it's not contaminated with anything it's run previously. It'll do that a couple of times. That's going to pick up some sample from the vial we've just prepared. Rinse the syringe with that a few times. And then inject it onto the machine. So it's now on the chromatography column. 
and the chromatographic run takes about 19 minutes. So now it's taken 19 minutes for the chromatogram to run, so now we can look at the results. And what we have on the computer screen is the chromatogram which shows the components of the mixture. We add two internal standards so we know what these compounds are and these are the two peaks of interest and we can get the computer to search its library to tell us what they are. And when we do that it shows us that the first peak, this one here, is 4-methoxyamphetamine, PMA, and the second peak at 9.111 is caffeine. So we've shown that this green tablet contains a mixture of PMA and caffeine.